commercial aviation. Yes, I know what you're thinking of, giant planes from manufacturers Boeing, Airbus, or Embraer. But, you know, the truth is that they are just empty airframes that can no longer fly in the sky if one thing is missing. Engine. It is the key to the flight performance of aircraft. Pratt & Whitney has announced a powerful gear turbofan engine, and it is the result of continuous changes to improve efficiency. So why is this engine said to change aviation forever? Can it compete with new generations of engines? Let's dive in. First of all, let's see how the geared turbofan operates. A geared turbofan is a type of turbofan engine that has a reduction gear between the low pressure compressor or turbine and its fan allowing each fan to rotate at an optimal speed. The purpose of this design is to reduce fuel consumption and noise emissions. And it can be lighter than traditional turbofans because they require fewer compressor and turbine stages due to their optimized design. This weight reduction can help save fuel and increase the aircraft's carrying capacity. A normal turbo blower engine has a fan at the front for air intake and a slightly smaller turbine inside, which they share with each other, but this is an inefficient shaft. The gearbox solution will allow both components to rotate at optimal speed, meaning the fan at the front will rotate much slower than the turbine inside. This will result in higher performance as well as lower noise generation. Pratt & Whitney realized that jet engines could be much more efficient and much quieter. With the benefits just mentioned, Pratt & Whitney decided to build this geared turbofan. Their aim was to cut fuel consumption on their engines by around 7% emissions by around 15% and also to create less noise by reducing the engine's fan speed. To make this happen, Pratt and Whitney will have to design a completely new engine technology. A turbofan engine known as the Superfan V2500 was developed in the early 1980s by a joint venture called International Aero Engines, which included a partnership between Pratt and Whitney of the United States and Rolls-Royce of the United Kingdom. This engine required the addition of a reduction gearbox between the fan and the low turbine. In the early 1990s, Pratt & Whitney determined they wanted to construct an engine akin to the V2500 Turbo, a mid-sized engine that produced roughly 30,000 pounds of thrust and improved fuel economy and noise emissions. Pratt & Whitney, in collaboration with NASA, have begun testing a 240 kN advanced ducted thruster demonstrator using a 4 to 1 aspect ratio 40,000 horsepower single fan thruster gearbox, 3 meter diameter with 18 reverse pitch composite blades having a bypass ratio of 15 to 1. It is used to manufacture larger gearboxes and fans to minimize any concerns about their weight. By 1998, Pratt and Whitney attempted to build its first geared turbofan, the PW800. The PW800 has a bypass ratio of 11 to 1 and an overall pressure ratio of 40 to 1, as well as 13 compressor stages instead of 22 like the previous engine. Their V2500 engine is used for similar purposes. The result was an engine that was 30% more powerful even though the flaps were removed and after NASA severely cut the program's budget in 2006, Pratt and Whitney had to commit more to developing jet engines into a new generation of single-aisle aircraft. The aim is to produce geared red turbofan engines, or GTF engines, capable of generating thrust from 110 to 160 kilonewtons, which can cut fuel consumption by up to 12% compared to current engines. By November 2007, the GTF had its first ground test and had also been selected to power a Mitsubishi regional jet. In July 2008, the GTF was renamed the PW1000G, the first in a new line of all-electric engines built by Pratt & Whitney in collaboration with MTU engineers. MTU is a leading German engine manufacturer and played a key role in creating axial fan technology. Pure axial turbofans immediately deliver positive results such as high-speed, low-pressure turbines. 
and the first four stages of an eight-stage high-pressure compressor deliver a 16% reduction in fuel consumption and carbon emissions, as well as a 75% reduction in noise. Plus, fewer compressors and turbines mean the engine is not only lighter, but maintenance costs are also reduced because fewer components are exposed to the hot gas. Since its debut, the geared turbofan engine has developed further, becoming both more potent and fuel efficient, and nowadays a wide variety of aircraft are powered by a wide variety of engine variants. So let's look at some of the most popular PW1000G series specification sheets together with the aircraft they power. Starting with the PW1100G, this nearly 3-ton engine has a thrust between 110 and 160 kilo newtons. The bypass ratio is 12.5 to 1 and has been powering the A320neo series since its introduction in January 2016. With a bypass ratio of 12 to 1, the PW1500G produces 85 to 104 kilo newtons of thrust. However, it is not as potent as the PW1100G. It was unveiled in July 2016 and is limited to a few Airbus A220 series aircraft. The PW1900G has the same bypass ratio as the 1500GA. It was unveiled later in April 2018 and is the only engine used in the Embraer A Jetty 2. Other variations exist, such as the PW1400GE which is purported to have powered Russian Irkut MC-21 aircraft prior to sanctions being placed on the country. The PW-1200 was set to exclusively power the Mitsubishi space jet before it was canceled, and the PW-1700G powers the smaller Embraer E-2 jet variant. Pratt & Whitney began working on an ultra-high bypass version in the beginning of the 2010 with the goal of significantly reducing noise pollution and fuel consumption. However, it's still a ways off from happening. The question is whether GTF can compete with current engines or new generations of engines in the future or not. They are General Electric's G9X and 2 engines that have not yet entered service. CFM International's CFM Rise and Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan. The G9X is said to be the most powerful engine available in the world for commercial aircraft. This is a high-bypass turbofan developed specifically for Boeing's 777X and is derived from the older G90 engine. The G9X comes with a whopping 490 kilo newtons of thrust, as high as it looks, lower than the 510 kilo newtons of its G90 predecessor. However, is 10% more fuel efficient than the G90 and has a bypass ratio of 9.9, one as well as an overall pressure ratio of 61. The CFM Rise open rotor engine is CFM International's successor to the CFM Leap turbofan engine and is expected to enter service in the mid-2030s with test flights expected to begin in 2026. Not yet, not much has been revealed about its capabilities, but we do know that it will use a heat recovery device to preheat the air exiting the compressor before entering the combustion chamber. If we base this comparison on the most powerful variant of the older CFM LEAP engine, the LEAP 1A, then the key figures would be the maximum continuous thrust of just over 140 kilo newtons. The abandonment ratio through is 11 to 1 and the overall pressure ratio is 40 to 1 and can go up to 50 to 1 when the aircraft reaches its highest altitude. Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan is designed to incorporate a gear system that drives a variable angle fan and comes with a bypass ratio of 15 to 1 and an overall pressure ratio of 70 to 1. At its most recent test, it was able to achieve 85,000 pounds of thrust, and the expectation is that it will increase to 110,000 pounds by the time it enters service. It is also set to improve fuel burn by at least 25% compared to Rolls-Royce's already efficient first-generation Trent 700 engines and will be 10% more efficient than the Trent engine's XWB current, these numbers may sound great compared to geared turbofans, but inherently engines don't operate the same way. 
Although geared turbofan at its current stage may be behind the engine generations just mentioned, it certainly has some developments to look forward to and Pratt and Whitney are doing their best to achieve this. Despite developments from other engine manufacturers, Pratt and Whitney and their partners are moving forward with plans to further improve the performance of geared turbofans. Engineers from MT, you are now looking to make geared turbofans even more efficient in the coming years by increasing the temperature and pressure ratio, including increasing the overall pressure ratio beyond current values, approximately 50 to 1 while reducing the amount of cooling air required. Such changes should further improve the core engine's thermal efficiency and with plans to increase the engine's bypass ratio from 12 to 1 up to 20 to 1 by 2035, it's hard to see many engines hitting defeat GTF in the next few decades. By the way, if you want to learn more about the operation and performance of Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan engine, click on the link on the screen.